we are judged, both men and women, based on what we look like. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to a episode of a beginning podcast. My name is Coach TB, and I'm going to be teaching you how to get women. Now, why is this important? It's important because a lot of men, a lot of modern men, do not know how to get women. So what I'm going to do throughout this podcast is I'm going to teach you how to get it so that you won't be an incel, a simp, a loser, a depressed man. On today's episode, we're going to talk about image. What is image and why is image important? I learned this the hard way. In my own life, you know, I was just putting on anything, wearing anything, didn't care about my appearance. I didn't care about what I look like. My fingernails were always dirty. My hair was always unkempt. Image is important and here's why image deals with the way the world sees you that's what image is think about image as like a gourmet meal would you eat a meal that looked like crap no when you don't have image you really can't get anywhere in line i'll give you a i'll give you a perfect example why do you think homeless people get treated the way that they are it's because of what they look like if you only get one chance to make a lasting first impression when you're dating when you're doing business when you're in your everyday life why wouldn't you want to put your best foot forward and get the results you deserve you should, and I implore you, you should and can get everything you want out of life. You don't have to struggle. You don't have to live below the poverty level. You don't have to live in somebody's basement. If you don't really care about your image, people aren't really going to care about listening to you. So many people in this world don't get the results that they should be getting because of what they look like we are judged both men and women we are judged based on what we look like why should somebody go out of their way to talk to you what do you bring to the table as far as who you are well you get that and you get to explore that if you care about your appearance You'll get the results that you want. A lot of people, and see, that that brings me to the next thing. If you look at somebody who dresses like crap, most of the time they have low self-esteem, and here's why. We are spiritual people, so whatever is going on on the inside is going to come out on the outside. So if you have low self-esteem, if you have depression, if you don't love yourself, dress like you don't love yourself. You're going to wear old ass clothes that need to be thrown away you're gonna wear coats with stains on the sleeves that are faded in order for you to get a woman you need to care about your image guys you you do because if you even want to get anywhere with a woman number one you you have to focus on three things number one you have to focus on sight what do you look like image Number two, you have to work on smell. Wear some cologne. If you are out of high school and or over the age of 25, do not, I repeat, do not wear a You're a grown man, grown men wear cologne. They do not wear axe. I'm sorry, I will say it again for the people in the back. Do not wear axe. You're a man, not a boy. So you want to get through the sight and sound. If you can do that, you're halfway in. You look good. You smell good. She's going to want to be around you. I want to give you a challenge as a man. I want you to go out and I want you to buy a white dress shirt and a powder blue dress shirt and two pairs of khakis and a pair of brown dress shoes and a pair of black dress shoes. Later on, as I 
produce more episodes. We'll get into why I told you on the very first episode to buy that. If you want to look good and you want to have a good image, you're going to have to have at least some fashion sense. This is the way women work. If you want to get a woman, you have to have game and you have to have fashion. Game is how you talk to people. Fashion is what you look like to people. A lot of men are out here in the world messing up and then they wonder why they can't get anything their heart desires because you're going about it the wrong way. And let me explain. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again with expecting a different result. A lot of men in today's society, they keep doing the same thing over and over again, but they're not getting the result that they want. So they blame the women instead of taking accountability, responsibility for themselves. It is nobody's fault that you cannot get a woman. It is nobody else's fault that you don't have style. After a certain point in your life, you have to look in the mirror and say, what am I doing wrong? You have to do that. And as a man talking to another man, a lot of us out here, we need that man in our lives to be able to say, you need to change. You need to change because change is painful. Change is not easy. Change is not something that even I wanted to do. It's very comfortable for you as a man to sit down doing the same things over and over again, eating the same poor man's breakfast and poor man's lunch and eating struggle meals and not being able to take a woman on a date, not being able to take a woman out. But then it's easy to blame the woman because your go-to is, Oh, her standards are too high. Her standards are too high. No, your standards are non-existent. Because what a lot of men want to do is they want a woman to date down. They don't want to be the upgrade. And I'll get into that in another podcast. But I'm dropping it here because this is some some of the things that I'm going to be talking about in this podcast. So if you're a man and you don't have it together, this podcast is for you because I'm going to help you. I want to help you get it together. I want to help you be the best man you can be. I want to help you because maybe you didn't have a father. Maybe you didn't have a role model. Maybe you just need that extra push. Here I am, but I'm not going to sugarcoat anything and I'm not going to be easy on you because after a certain point, it's all on you, bro. I hope something was said or done in this podcast to make you want to come back. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.